All right, so I put this off because I actually wanted to use this and pack it. And this is the Mil Tech poncho. And this is not a GI poncho, but it's basically the next best thing. Um, I'm not the only one who's going to have a video on this. There's some already out there. That's how I found out about them. Um, there were actual guys who were in the military who said that this is the closest thing to the ponchos that they actually used when they were in the military. Um, because GI ponchos are getting hard to come by now. Um, this is made out of ripstop nylon. And if you look inside here, this glossy material is a rubberized coating. It's on the inside. And when you actually open the package, that rubber smell hits you. So it's, it's the real deal. This is a full-sized poncho. It will go and fit a military poncho liner. So you can do the sleeping bag. It has six tie points. It has grommets on the four corners and two up top. So you actually have... Um, more versatility than some of the uh, military uh, ponchos that are knockoffs. I have one. It's a decent poncho, but it only has four grommets. So that's a bonus. Um, it snaps all the way up the sides, and you can actually snap two of these together and make an A-frame. You uh, are pretty well covered in it. You put this on, put it on. It comes all the way down past my knees, and I said in another, another video, I'm only five foot six, so this would easily fit someone who's a few inches taller than me, six inches taller than me even. And if you were wearing high boots, um, you are not going to get wet. I wore this in a storm that hit, and I mean it was wind pushing the rain sideways, and I stayed bone dry. Um, it comes with. Or, and actually in this little stuff bag made out of the same rubberized material uh, but I'm not going to pretend that I can fold this thing up and stuff it back in here so I just use it as a stuff sack for um, another uh, uh, kit but um, what, what I really liked about this it's made by an outfit in Ireland I guess is um, on Amazon it was 22 bucks so I got this and then because I needed it to be $25 for shipping and or for free shipping. I just spent the money on a couple of these little ferro rods. You just have to look them up. They're a, a Chinese thing, but they uh, they throw pretty good sparks. They're just they're real itty bitty, maybe maybe one eighth something like that. But you know, uh, just nice to have a couple extra little ferro rods, and that put me to like say 26 bucks. I got free shipping. Um, these took forever to show up too because like I said they're from China but I got this in like four days and it was perfect timing because it was about two days later um, uh, we got hit by that storm I had threw this on because I had my stuff in the house I threw this on got my dogs brought them in and I was bone dry uh, I mean it, it cut the wind it cut the water um, it's black so it's going to absorb heat so it would be good in like say cold weather you just put it on or make a shelter and you know it should that's just going to be a little bit extra to help you uh, stay warm and dry um, the only thing I will say but to me it's worth it because it's a it's it's a good enough piece of gear is it's heavy um, you know it's not one of those you know cheap ponchos even the the good say ripstop nylon Rothko ones this is heavy so I've been packing it around and I just got used to the weight but to me to have a really good uh, bomb proof shelter item um, that is as multi-use as this and that you can just grab and put on like I just did uh, I just grab it right off the top of my my uh, butt pack or if it was in a in my backpack I just have it on the side pocket um, you know you're good to go so I highly recommend them they're not that expensive 22 bucks you can't beat that for you know something something that's uh, you know gonna take care of you like this so anyways that's just my review on the Miltech poncho uh, look it up on eBay um, look it up on other reviews 
I might do some shelter um, setups with this later on but uh, right now it's just riding uh, as my cover element in my 10 C's kit uh, I am going to replace these because these are just kind of um, I don't know, I'll just replace them with paracord. They're good enough for now, but I'm, I'm going to put some paracord uh, tie-outs on this so I can uh, lash it up real easy, you know, like a plow point configuration, and I'm I'm very happy with it. So, uh, you know, I give that five stars as a, uh, you know, survival poncho.